Welcome back everybody to the Clark Griswold YouTube channel or Griswold Trading, doesn't matter, whatever you like to call it. This is our SPY series. We're teaching you guys, we are learning how to trade SPY every single day off of the 30 minute chart. This is episode 9. They're trades from Friday, September 23rd. So we're going to go through this list. We're going to show you where you could have got in, where you could have got out, and exactly how you play these things. So let's start by going over. This is our first 30-minute bar here, okay? This first bar opens up, first bar, and it closes. Now, I put this blue line in for visual effect because this blue line tells me if I'm below this blue line, I'm in red territory or bear territory. If I'm above the blue line, I'm in bull territory. Okay, or green on the on the time frame or on the day. So what we're looking for is realistically the hourly and the daily in the same direction. Anything after that is bonus, just gives us a higher probability that this trade is going to work out in the right direction. So we have this first bar. What we're looking for is basically a close or a, a, a break of this yellow line. So that would be our trigger to the downside where we would get in. Now, these targets are, you know, $2 out. So if you get into this range and you feel like you want to take profit, by all means, take some profit. It's okay. Uh, but these are our targets that we should be hitting. And then we've got this red line right here as our stop loss. So a lot of times people will put their stop loss at the 50% mark. It's really tough with SPY because you lose a lot of a lot of your capital. A lot of your a lot of your capital gets lost when you're trending back up, especially on a bar this big that's $3. It's a $3 bar. So, the other thing you can do if you want on this stuff is you can go down to a lower time frame. Um, you can stay on the 30 or you can go down to a lower. We're just for the benefit of this video and to go through a little quicker and make it a little less uh, complicated will stay on the 30 and we'll go to the next candle and see how it plays out. So this next candle comes down and then we break back up through. Do we break the 50%? No, we don't, but we come back up through that trigger. So if it's me on this guys, get out of the trade. Okay. It's you're, you're a two down that finished green. That's telling me that there's probability that this could trend back to the upside. Not saying that it's going to happen, but the probability is there. So I don't like wasting any of my money. So if we break down, I, what I want to see on these is just a breakdown. I want to see it actually move down to the bottom. I want to see a big move here. And we didn't get that. So uh, for me, I'm going to be out of that trade. So we'll go to the next candle and we'll see what happens. So again, we come back down off of this candle. So if you want to get back in, we're just taking the trigger. That's all we're doing. We'll take the next trigger off of that line. And again, we have the same kind of thing happen here where we're just barely below that line. Okay, so if you want to put your stop loss at, you know, 50% of this bar. Sorry, let me put that trigger there. At the 50% of this bar. Well, now now we can now we can we can look at that. So, here's our 50% of this bar here and we go to the next candle. And then we break down a little bit up and then we're gone. So we're out of the trade. So now we're 0 for 1 off of this one and we're 0 for 2 off of that one. Okay, so we're 0 for 2 on the day. We move on. Let's see what the next candle brings. So here we would take again that break. Okay, so this out of all the days out of the nine days that we've looked at SPY, this was probably one of the most difficult because we kept on breaking back up through that trigger. So it makes it very difficult to stay in the trade. So we can look at this. And again, if you're looking at Addict's trades, and he uses this on, on swing trades, but he uses that 50% marker of, of the previous bar to get out. But he wants it to close above that bar. So nothing closed above the 50% on any of these. So if you followed Addict's trade strategy, you'd still be in this thing. So now we've broken through it and we've come down. Now, if you feel like it's been pretty choppy, I want to take some of my profits. Again, like I said, that's okay. I don't mind you guys doing that. But let's see what the next candle does and then we can we can go from there. So where you want to put your stop loss? Again, top of the candle, that's fine. 
here, that's fine too at the trigger. So we go and there you have it. So we didn't break through there. Now we have the opportunity to put our stop losses at these targets because we've come through and this trade guys would have wiped out your losses or your break evens on this trade and this trade and this trade. What do we have here? One trade, two trades here, and a third trade here. So this likely would have wiped out those losses and you would have been in profit here. Okay, so by the first two hours of the morning, you're either break even or you're ahead a little bit. If you stayed with, if you stayed with the strategy, and that's one of the most important parts is to stay with the strategy. You're not hopping around doing this, and now I'm gonna try this, now I'm gonna try this, now I'm gonna try this. You're playing the probabilities. So yes, it failed once, it failed twice, failed three times, but on that fourth time, this is where you made your money, okay? And it would have wiped out those three losses that you had. And this is the perfect example of saying to you guys, if you keep your stops, if you keep your losses small, you don't need to win more than 50% of your trades. This is one out of four, it's 25% of your trade, okay? Can you win trading, winning one out of four trades? You can, but you have to be mentally prepared to say, I'm just going to stop out. I'm just going to stop out. I'm just going to stop out. And then when that trade hits, there you have it. So stop loss right there. We go on to the next candle. We come back down to the next target. And all you have to do is move that down as we come through it and back up to the top. You're out of that trade and you're done. Okay, so you could call it quits there for the day or you can keep going. Let's see what happens if you would have kept going. So there's the next candle up. Okay, and I'm going to remove a bunch of these. So we remove the clutter off of this chart. And we'll go to the next candle. Okay, so then we break down again. We triggered. And again, if you still want to continue to trade, I'm going to try and make some of my money back. We triggered and then we reversed right back up. So stop loss at the yellow line and your stop loss at the 50%, you were very close to getting stopped out at that 50%, okay? Or the top of the candle. Those are your three options for you to manage your risk. But for me, I'm probably out of this trade already and we go on to the next one and see what happens and there you go. So yes, yes, you got stopped out there, okay? But we now have our option to get back in. Okay, so there we're in again. So three, four, five, six trades, two out of six guys, 30%, right? 33%, that's it. And we came down through the target. Let me move this back because our first target was, man, we are far back there. This first target is your, it's like a never ending line. <laughs> Holy smokes. That was unbelievable. We're deleting this. I'm just going to make a new line. You guys will be sitting here all day. And I'll make that green. There you go. So that is your first target off of this trigger. Okay, it's the closest wick that we've got. So we break through, and again, just our stop loss to there, to that target. Or you say, we came pretty close. We're coming into the, you know, the end of the day. There's not much time left. I think I'm just going to take my profits and go home. Awesome. That's all you got to do, and you're out. Okay, or like I said, there's your stop loss at that target. We didn't hit it. We tagged it and went back down further. Okay. I didn't even know that was going to happen. So now we just move our stop loss down to the next target. Guys, two wins out of six and you guys are gold for the day. Okay. You're done for the day. You don't need to trade anymore. Where's the next candle? There you go. Back up. You have your stop loss in place. You're completely healthy. And you have one more candle before the end of the day. So you don't need to take anything else. 
is there you go. That's your last candle there, and you're out. So six possible trades. You won two out of six, but you would have been green. Okay, that's that's the thing that you really have to come to realize. You don't have to be a hundred percent, seventy-five percent, sixty percent winner to be a winner in the market. As long as you are keeping your stops where they need to be, you need to be able to mentally say, "I'm just out of the trade. I'm just out of the trade." It re-triggers, I can get back in, but it comes back up through that trigger and, and keeps on going, then I've lost everything. And that's where the problem comes in. You'll see people with these, you know, $50 wins, or you know, call it 10% wins, 20% wins, 30% wins. But then when it retraces on them, they're not getting out. They're not taking that, you know, that break even, that five or that 10% loss, their losses are now 50, 60, 70, 80%. And all those gains, they're taking three steps forward or two steps forward or one step forward and three steps back. And that's how we lose at trading because we think we're doing really, really well. And then when we get, we're like on a roll and we've won three in a row and look at this money I made. But then when you get that loser, you're like, I can't lose. I'm just going to, I'm just going to hold it. And that's when you lose your money. So keep your stop losses tight and win big on the big ones. And that's it. It's really that simple. But in the mind, it's not that simple. It's the psychology of trading. And I will tell you guys this on every single video. The more you can learn that, the better off you'll be. The more you get that through your mind and, and just have it ingrained in you, the better off you'll be as a trader. I'm on Twitter. You can follow me there. Make sure you're subscribing down below. End of the video. There is a playlist to go through all episodes of this spy series. Make sure you guys check it out. And make sure you guys check out Sunday Questions with Clark. I try to put those videos out every Sunday for you guys, answering the questions from you guys so you guys can get the answers to help you become better traders. Good luck trading the week of September 26th or whatever week you're trading on, guys. Good luck. As always, I hope you're green, and we will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.